terrific Thursday. It is terrific throwback Thursday. It is throwing it back to the way we used to do it when I had my co-host sitting beside me. Everything was nice and organized and it came through the genius mind of Dwight Sanford, Mr. Ella J. You said, now why did you move things around? And I said, well, I don't know. So you and Donovan came out here yeah. and y'all just kind of rearranged and it's pretty cool now. It's a little bit more comfy and it's a little bit more in tune with yeah. what our set should be. Yeah, it is. Does it make sense to you? It does. It it's does. Nice, it's got a nice look. It does. It does. Now, today is going to be about throwing it back. And I told you, I took Evelyn across Fort Mountain yesterday. And you know what she said? Oh, I didn't know this existed. And I said, she didn't what? Know. <laughs> That's <laughs> almost like not knowing Mr. Ella J. <laughs> and I didn't <laughs> I gotta talk to that girl. It was hysterical because she was, <laughs> stop, stop, can I take pictures? So we stop, she takes all these pictures. It is gorgeous, but I will tell you, it's gonna be more gorgeous because you've seen what's on my phone, the picture of the leaves. Oh yeah. Pretty soon, that's near your house. Yeah. Yeah. And that it's, was, actually, that's right out almost, yes. it's in front of my driveway. Yeah, and that was last, <coughs> last year. Can y'all tell that the mildew in the house is getting to me? Yeah. So you're going to be talking more today than I am because I'm really choking up. <laughs> oh, I could up. make a joke right now. <laughs> what you going to do? Go ahead. Just go no, ahead. I'll, let I you, I'll just let you, you slide. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. We do have fun and we get things done, but lately, really, all we've been doing is getting things done. A lot of stuff to be accomplished um, from cars that you're working on to music that you have to go back and master the um, fan favorites you've got that to do you have a lot ahead of you yeah and i gotta get busy too how you gonna get it done i'm gonna hunker down and get it done can we tell people about what you did yesterday yes we can it was quite a day i worked at the sawmill and i mean really a real sawmill yeah, and yeah. i did work Yes, okay. yes, yes. I was the slab toter and I stacked lumber and carried strips all day yesterday, way up on the side of Rock Creek. Wow, wow. And uh, I tell you, I loved it. I loved it because it made me, th I thought about Daddy all day. He used uh -huh. to work at sawmills. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and it's, I actually made a video too. And, oh, uh, did you? Well, yeah, where is it? Can we share it with our viewers? No, nah, not today, but it's oh, right here. But we will. One My day. daddy worked at sawmills, and uh, and I had a th I was thinking about him all day, and I thought, you know, wow. I'm up here having fun, mm -hmm. and he was doing it to feed me. Mm -hmm. That's a big difference, ain't it? That's a big difference. That's a big difference. But he had a lot of fun. Daddy had fun no matter what he was doing. Well, it being <laughs> Thursday and Throwback Thursday, every Thursday you're going to be with us because I I love the stories that you tell. Because I grew up in the city and I really, we used to call it going to the country. We came up about once a year and we came to my grandparents' house over in Dawson County where my granddaddy made liquor, all of his brothers made <laughs> liquor. They didn't make liquor to get rich, they made liquor like your daddy was a sawmiller to put food on the table. Right, yeah. It was a, it was a different world. I know. Different Heck world. Yeah. Now, we have a mutual person that we admire and he builds 396 engines and he builds 351 Cleveland engines, and we're hoping that one day you can coerce him into being well, with us. Well, it's kind of like the story with Margie. <clears throat> I'm, I'm working on it, but uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. You know, these people, they, uh, they're they stubborn, but we, oh, we, no. we'll get him. <laughs> I hope so. We'll get him. He'll, he's in here. <clears throat> now, he does the sawmill, <laughs> but he builds engines. How does he do all of that? He's got a lot going on, that guy does. Uh, he uh, he is actually the sawyer, that's what I call it, I reckon that's what you call it, for the mill. And you, mm -hmm. you gotta know some stuff to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta cut so much out of this log, cut down here, and then you gotta know that you're gonna cut so many, whatever it is, two befores, and mm -hmm. he's he's he can run that thing. It's good, he keeps me busy toting slabs, I'll tell you that. How long's he been doing that? Uh, ain't no telling all of his life, I guess. Hard work, <clears throat> yeah. hard work. What time you went and doing something else, working another operation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we might say that <laughs> one of them where it needed <coughs> water. Mm -hmm, yes, yes. <laughs> and sugar. Sugar, sugar. Yeah, sugar. Yeah, yeah, lots of bags of sugar. And a yeah. bunch of jars. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of jars. Whatever that might be. <laughs> if somebody pulled up today and looked at, at the Sherry house, they would say, 
she's making moonshine because Evelyn's brought <laughs> me all these jars and I've yeah. got jars everywhere and uh. I'm really not. I am, however, canning things and um, blackberries, pears, tomatoes. And yesterday I blew Evelyn's mind because Evelyn is kind of structured and cultured and I'm just hillbilly heaven and I pull up to this lady's yard and I was, Evelyn said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm going to ask that lady if I can have these pears. And I said, actually, I'm going to ask her, can I buy these pears? And so I've beaten on the door and the lady, who is it? And I said, I need to talk to you about your pear tree. And Evelyn's sitting there going, oh my God. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, could I please buy some pears off your pear tree? She said, oh, honey, you can have all you want. And I said, thank you so much. So we're out there and Evelyn is taking pictures of me like I do you. She's taking pictures of me as I'm gathering pears. And we get in the car and she's like, that just blows my mind. <laughs> it just blows my mind. You just stop and ask people. But by 9.30 last night, guess what? The pear relish was done. The pear Good. relish was done. Good. So I did my thing. Yeah. And if you see God's bounty out there, you drove me crazy when you would say, I'm through picking blackberries. And then the next day, well, I've been picking blackberries. I, I found know. a few more. I can't see them go to waste. <laughs> I found a few more. Yeah. 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 I made yeah. I don't know how many trips. Uh, to pick blackberries because I don't know how it is everywhere else, but up there with me is I could only get a few each, each picking, mm -hmm. but you got to keep on getting them because now <laughs> at the end of the season, what have I got? They're Somewhat gone. over five gallons. Yes, yes, pretty yes. Pretty good, pretty good. And you got a gift yeah. that was an experiment, but I made you blackberry syrup. Mm -hmm. Never done anything like that before, but I kind of took your lead from what your mama used to do. Yeah. And I did it, and I just cooked it down, cooked it down, cooked it down. Didn't you sure gel? You didn't even have to throw the lemon to it, because sometimes if you put some sour in there, it'll start to gel. And I didn't want to gel too much. I just right. kept cooking it down. Could we say it's probably pretty much the perfect consistency? It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, and it just, I slowly cooked it down. Yeah, so. and it's not something we need to be doing, folks, especially me, but... When you pour that over <laughs> vanilla ice cream, <laughs> oh boy. then you're glad you picked the berries. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cars, music, and making. Cars. Cars, lots of cars. Love cars. I always have. Somebody made a joke one time, said I was a redneck. Said, <gasps> yeah, I know. Said, said I had uh, transmissions in my bathtub. <laughs> and you did. And I'll say, I'll let you know right quick, fella. No transmissions were ever in my bathtub because I didn't have a bathtub. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know what? Uh, it is about making those memories. And you growing up, I was telling somebody about you yesterday, and I said he grew up within a 20-mile radius of where most of what we talk about came from and is. Yeah. And Fort, Mar Fort Mountain being a big part of what you love today, but also over at the camp, a big part of the history of your grandparents and oh, your gosh, family. Yeah. So forever, can we say a 20 mile radiance is, is your comfort zone? I would say so, yeah. And if I leave, like I went a couple times, I've gone on vacation somewhere, and I didn't get far outside of Gilmer County until I was just wishing we could go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I went ahead on, but you know, it wasn't my idea, but anyway. Yep. Yeah, yep. I love Fort Mountain. Fort Mountain is a, well, like I say, you know, in my Christmas album, it's a place I dearly love to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fort Mountain. We, we go way back. I, when I was just 16, <coughs> oh no, even before that, uh, we used to have our family reunions on, on Fort Mountain. I was probably eight. I remember riding up Fort Mountain when I was a little bitty kid in a black 60 Chevrolet Impala with a 348 factory four-speed car. I remember going to our reunions in that one time. And uh, old Winford Dotson was there. He was dating one of my cousins. And uh, I have so many members. I remember Winford sitting there at, at, up on Fort Mountain. He's sitting on the hood of his uh, the fender of his black 57 Ford. And uh, just remember that we walked around the lake, me and him and uh, uh, his Sherry, my cousin, and Winston and Sissy, we walked around the lake, and I remembered seeing blue fish. I, w I was a little teeny, remember I was uh -huh. little. Yeah, I yeah. walked over to the edge of the lake, and I looked, and there was blue fish, <laughs> all blue, transparent blue looking. I never did understand what that was, but that's, that's a great memory. 
Now, you walk at Fort Mountain now. I do. I noticed it's not flat. Where do you walk? I drive up to Fort Mountain often. I walk a lot. I walk down on, on the, uh, the walking trail down there by the river in town here. But I, a lot of times I go to Fort Mountain and because uh, it's, well, it's cooler up there. Mm -hmm. And I just mm -hmm. park there somewhere and I walk around and around the lake. Oh, okay. Till I get my time in. Okay. And come back okay. home. Kind of like prison time. Yeah. <laughs> How many miles? Four miles a day. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, I Lord walk about mercy. four miles a day. Yeah. Wow. Okay. On top of working all the time and walking, <clears throat> I have this thing about everybody needs to have a little bit of chilling time, and I have convinced myself that a porch is where I need to be chilling. You like to chill at Fifty Seven Heaven. If you're not working, you're there studying. Is yes, that kind of what you would call your chilling time? Yes, ma'am. I am in my element at 57 Heaven. I worked there last night till way after dark. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, after working at the sawmill all yes, day. Yes, yes, I did. Okay. I'm yeah. putting the. Uh, Could you be an overachiever? No, well, just certain days. Some days, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some days I can't even hardly focus for nothing. <laughs> but you know, I guess that's human. I don't know, or it is here anyway. But. Yeah. Uh, Last night I was putting the new brake line system on the chassis for the Fairlane 57 mm -hmm, Ford. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met Mr. Wallace Parks the other day. Me and him had a good talk. We have another Ford fan on board. <laughs> I love he it. He likes 57 Fords. I love it. I love it. And we have a full crew now, and, and we are blessed <laughs> because we've got Donovan in control. We've got Tim doing everything that I I mean, I, I cannot live without Tim. He's my go-to boy. He's, he's it. And Trace and, and then Aaron is learning. And, and we're learning. And these kids are watching. I think about Donovan's dad who worked over at an auto parts place forever. And I can remember a million times calling and saying, hey, Keith, have you got this part? Have you got that part? Have you got that part? It was Talents Auto Parts. Have you ever bought anything from them over in Forsyth County? No. Well, they've been there forever. Remember, I don't like to get outside of Gilmer County. He doesn't, yeah, yeah and the talent is still open, yeah. <laughs> but but when we think about, there's always those go-to people that you go to. And, and to have our full crew here, we're getting a new opening, we're getting new graphics. We're adding to the mix, but I, I have to tell you publicly, once I added you to the mix, people love, first of all, you, you are the real deal about Gilmer County. I've never highlighted Gilmer County because I didn't, and, and you made me feel guilty about this. I worked here all these years, but I didn't really get out and get to spend time here because I was always leaving the set and going to another job. Yeah. So you have made me appreciate Gilmer County, and I, I thank you for that. I mean, I went to RNA Orchards before, and I went out to, um, we did a lot of live shows <clears throat> in this area, but out in the element over at Hillcrest Orchards, we did that. But I never took the time and you've kind of slapped it on me and said, you're missing out if you don't see this and this yeah, and this. there's a lot to be seen here. There's a lot, county. yeah, yeah. And, and so we want new viewers, number one, if they're new to the area, get out and do the dirt roads, get out and do the back roads, get out yeah. and learn about Fort Mountain. And, and y'all, I wish I had a video of Evelyn when she saw Fort Mountain yesterday. Because she's like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Fort well, Mountain. duh. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Duh. I love Fort Mountain. So, well, we're going to share something today. Um, you, everybody knows how you love Vic and Bobby and, and the Davis boys. Are we getting progress reports on Vic and is he going to have surgery? How are things going? Do we know? Yeah, I talk to him a lot. He's, uh, he's having some, uh, his, uh, Something cleaned out of, what was it? Carotid artery? Yeah, they're, they're doing something to go in and clean that out. And it's 80% blockage right here somewhere. And uh, they're gonna do that and uh, he's gonna be fine then. He'll be yeah. all right. Yeah, and he'll be back to the shop for him and you'll have to start writing oh, him gosh, a check yeah. again. Yeah, 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 I know, okay. he'll be yeah. back on the payroll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's sight what he makes. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's supper, breakfast, <laughs> whatever you have to feed him, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what a what a good guy and what a great opportunity and, and I thank y'all for letting me be a part of what the time that y'all spent together, what was it, two hours or something, and just chit chatting and talking and doing a little bit of singing. I'd never heard Bobby sing until that Isn't day. Isn't it amazing? Wow. Those guys are wow. what what are they? They're in their eighties? Eighty eight and eighty. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. they can sing like birds. It was cool. And that's me talking now, hey, if yeah. you miss your part, I'll be right up in your face. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they don't. It. Them boys can sing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I've made a lot of people mad at me before by them missing their parts. And you'd go, uh, no, we're going to do it again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of doing it again, it is time for you to get back in the studio because it is time to produce the, the fan favorites. And yep. um, every time I turn around, I add another song to the fan favorites. There are just certain songs that you want to hear over and over again because they make you feel good. They make you laugh. And, and today I chose a song that you said you used to sing with your mama. And yeah. does that bother you when we go back to things, or does, is it a sweet memory? It's a sweet memory. I love it. Good. I love Good. it. Good. Mommy taught me how to sing harmony. There you go. Yep. And did you get it right at first, or did she have to say, now listen here, pay attention to me? Well, I had it pretty good. I sort of had a knack for it, but uh, she would, you know, yeah, she told me she'd say, and she explained to me in such a simple way in the very beginning, music is nothing but a big circle. And that's exactly right. Hmm. It starts and it returns where it came from, mm -hmm. and it goes round and round, on so many different levels. I mm -hmm. mean, it's she she nailed that. And her family is your mom the only person in her family that was talented, or were there no, other? No, I had an aunt Evelyn, my little aunt Lily, all of them. I think they all sang. Philman played the guitar. They had one boy. Mm -hmm. There was four girls and one boy, and. Uh, <clears throat> Philman played the guitar. He used to come to my house and set up guitar. Big influence. And he'd sing Johnny Cash and all that. And uh, Evelyn, Tuck and Evelyn had a gospel group with Riley Puckett and his wife. I don't know her name. But they had a gospel group. They sung at churches all around. And uh, they were real good. Well, we're going to go back now to a commercial. And then we're going to go to Vic and Bobby and you, and we talk a little bit about ETC in the early beginnings, and last night, I have to tell y'all, I was up late, 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 and I watched Floyd Scott's family. <clears throat> it was Barry, Barry's two girls, and um, Audrey, Floyd's Audrey. Yeah. Miss Audrey was there, yeah. and Brenda was there, and Brenda's daughter was there, who did my show quite often, and it was just really sweet to see that family. And Barry Scott is going to be with us in the near future. We don't know how, what, why, or when, because he's starting a new job. But he said, I'd really lo love to come back and do a show. And he sent you a big compliment. He said he loves to see you when you're on. He loves to hear you sing. Barry's good. <coughs> Barry's a good guy. And so we hope that we're going to have Barry in the studio before long. He sat here on this piano, and he's he's amazingly talented. And his is that natural family harmony. That's he, what he, it's about. He and I will sing one together. That'd be awesome. We'll do it. That would be awesome. Yes. That would be really yes. cool. That would be really cool. So, now when he sang with Doyle Lawson, um, he did the song "We Shall Inherit," that ended up being nominated for a was it a Dove Award, I believe. And he didn't get that award, but what an honor to be nominated. Heck yeah. You know, and he wrote yeah. that. So Oh, he's a heck of a talent. He Barry is, Scott yeah, is. Yeah, he's something else. So so we hope that he will be with us in the near future. Next week Matt Dibler will be back. And um, that's kind of what gave us the idea. I always had my co-host sit by me and it was just a little bit more comfortable, a little bit easy. It was kind of distant the way we were doing it. It didn't make sense. So I fixed that. You fixed it. You organized me. <laughs> he's such an organizer, and I'm such an un, you know, I just slide in by the seat of my pants, and he's like, well, why don't we do this, and why don't we, because you study. I studied about it. You studied. Yes, I did. Studied. I studied about <laughs> yes, it. Yes, he does, and oh, my, does he study. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to a commercial, and then you're going to spend a little bit of time with Vic and Bobby and Dwight as we um, just enjoyed each other's company. We'll be back in just Stay a minute. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? 
the American Made Music Festival returns to Hiawassee, Georgia, September 15th through 17th. This three-day festival features the best of country, bluegrass, and gospel music, including special guests Craig Morgan, Lone Star, Ricky Skaggs, and Kentucky Thunder, Daly and Vincent. Stars and Stripes Forever, America. Three-day and single-day tickets available, along with on-site camping by the lake. The American Made Music Festivals with Daly and Vincent, presented by Gus Arendale and Springer Mountain Farms. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. I said, come on, darling, take me downtown, because I want to see some of that gorgeous Blue Ridge Georgia. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. back okay mr sanford guess what we're going to go to the davis boys now bobby lives over in rome 80 years old retired from ups and enjoying retirement vic hasn't retired yet because he's a shop foreman at 57 heaven but we want all y'all to pray for mr vic davis as he faces some surgery that is going to be just quick and easy and go in there and fix it up and, and clean out that this is what blocks basically everything that goes to your brain is that right I think he said one side. Okay. Yeah. So get him fixed up quickly. Yeah, he's going to be fine. And get him back at work. So here we go. We've got to have that shop foreman. Yes, we do. And yeah. he works cheap. That's that's. Well, I don't know what I'll do with all this extra money if, <laughs> if I don't have to pay him. You could buy Chevelle parts. See there? Yeah. See? I, yeah. You, I, the first yeah. day I met you, you said she's already spending my money. Uh-huh. Do you remember that statement? I do. <laughs> yeah. And Rails does too. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then all of a sudden you're buying Chevelle parts. So here we go. Let's go visit with the Davis brothers. That's what I need. Bobby, you know he works for Better Beans and Hair Relish, don't you? Where what? He works for Better Beans and Hair Relish. You cannot I, replace I, I that know, man. I know. We'll just have to stick with him. Yeah, I know. We'll have to stick with him whether it's good or bad. We'll have to stick there. Yeah. Now, let's talk a little bit about ETC and our family connection because we started at ETC. Y'all started many years before I did. Vic, what year did y'all first go to ETC? 
Yeah. What year did you? Was the first year y'all went to DTC to do music? You remember? It was about. Uh, it must have been around 2005 or six because we had that show in 2008. Right. And the 12 of them live. It had been going on sometime before right. that. Right. So I'm not sure what year, but Larry, you know, started out with them, I think, from day one. I love the way y'all entered the building with the guitars and pulled up an old vehicle. I love it. That was so cool. That was I so appreciate cool. that. That sure. was really cool. Really cool. A lot of good memories with the Davis boys. And uh, it's kind of funny to call them Davis boys when they're approaching a little bit over 80 years old. Yeah. But, you know, y'all are, you got one sister left, is that right? One sister yeah, and one sister left, yeah. Uh, there's three, kids. there were six siblings, and Lear, me, Vic and I, and my sister Opal. Right. Three left. Okay, Bobby, you're the honest one. You're the straightforward one. Who was the meanest kid at the house? Who was the meanest out of them six? You know, I hate to say it, but it was me. Was it <laughs> really? I'd have never seen it, that. Well, that's what they all said. Oh. I had I had a little brother that, that was two years younger than me. So when I was two years old, he was born. All these others was older. And of course, what are they going to do? They're going to pick up the baby. Took the spotlight They're going to play with the baby. Yep. Yep. And I aggravated my poor brother to death because I guess I was jealous. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm still jealous. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm yeah. still jealous. No, uh, but they said, they said that I was the meanest. Oh, no. Sure. I, I have a hard time believing that. But I, you know, I was. What good raisin, what good raisin y'all had? We did. Our mom was just a super, super woman. Mm -hmm. uh, she was one of those woman women in the age where they got out and, and built a fire around the wash pot and washed the old dirty clothes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember on the iron. Yes, sir. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. They still do that at the Dwight House because they don't have a clothes dryer. Oh me. <laughs> well. He likes to hang his stuff out on the line. Yes, he does. Yes, he, he, does. he likes to smell earthly. Yes, he yeah. does. Yes, yeah. he does. Yeah. Rather than nastily. Yeah, yeah. yeah he does. Yeah, I, need, yeah, yeah. I, I need to add a little bit there to on the washing. Uh, we never had water running in the house. In fact, the spring was way down in the hall. Uh, I'm glad to know somebody else had that same yeah. reason. <laughs> And uh, she kept everything that would hold water under the drip of the house and caught water to wash in. And, mm -hmm. and of course, it didn't matter because she boiled them boiled anyway, you know. Yeah. And that, so they were clean. Yeah. 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 They called it wash water. Yeah, mm -hmm. wash water. Yeah. 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 yeah, sure did. Go out there in that wash barrel, son, and get me yeah. a bucket of water. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she, she uh, you know, had a, ba a battling. What did they call it? Battling stick. Battling mm -hmm. stick. And they would beat the dirt yeah. out of yeah. blue jeans and overalls. Well, one day I was aggravating my little brother. And bless her heart, she was no telling how much she had to do. Washing. And uh, and I was aggravating him. He was hollering at me. And she took out after me with that battling stick. Uh-oh. Uh oh. And she made a believe. She threw that thing at me and hit it well out there. Brought you to the well, I remember. I said, Mama, you were going to hit me with that. Yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But it calmed me down for a spell. Yeah. yeah did y'all get whoopings up until you were in your teens? Well, not a lot. Uh, Daddy would use a razor strap if he thought he needed to. Mm -hmm. Mama didn't. Mama didn't. Whip. I don't remember that she, Mama she, ever. Whip. She kept a little hickory, but she yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. around yeah. the ankle yeah. once in a while. Yeah. But it had to be something pretty good. Yeah. What precious, precious memories! What precious yeah. memories! Oh, yeah. Can we find another gospel song y'all can do? I bet we could. Let's try. Probably could. Boy, it's telling about the Lord Jesus Christ coming to save us. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we are back. Um, fun day with those boys. And, and it does jumble us up a little bit when we got the iPad going over here and we got the monitor going over here. But it's nice to have the monitor working again. Donovan came back and solved the mystery because the mystery was here the whole time he was gone. And As someone I used to know would say, 
Donovan, you are the man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, pears, blackberries, tomatoes. What is the next crop you're going to gather for me to can? What's next? Muscadines? Turnip greens. Turnip greens. I yes, love turnip greens. Turnip greens. They'll be coming. They'll be. Are you planting some? No, but I might. Well, that would be good. Yes, I just might. That would be good. Know. Yeah. I love turnip yeah. greens. I like turnip. Rutabagas. Do you, do you like? You don't like. <laughs> Gag a maggot off a gut truck. Gag love, a maggot off a gut truck. I love rutabagas, okay? Are you serious? My yeah. mama made Back in my day, like, though, we called them Rudy Baggers. <laughs> I hate rutabagas. But, but oh. I love rut rutabagas. And uh, you don't like rutabagas? I love turnips. What? I love turnips. I'll, I'll cook them, but I won't You rode them. in my 57? Yes. And you don't like rutabagas? And, I, and I'm riding in gym. I mean, I'm doing Man. it all, but I'm not enjoying it. How do you not like rutabagas? Do you cook them? Well, that's all that matters. <laughs> I'll cook them. I'll cook them. I'll cook them. I love rutabagas. Do you really? Oh, man. Well, I, I, love I can tell you the first time Mama cooked them, and my Mama was one of these parents that I want you to eat healthy and I want you to try everything I put in front of you. Two things that would not go down my throat, and they got uh -uh. Uh -uh. Brussels sprouts and rutabagas. And, and honest love to goodness, rutabagas. Mama said, Sugar, just take a bite. And I'm going, <laughs> we're we're going to lose viewers. <laughs> you don't like rutabagas? No. <laughs> but but it's time for you to plant some greens because i got to tell this story about two precious ladies <clears throat> from Bannon County. They canned all the time, and I went to the cannery with them. And I loved, loved, loved Miss Joyce Bryson. I loved her so much. And, and they would take me to the cannery with them and can all kinds of stuff. I opened my last can of turnip greens that we canned together about a year ago yeah. so it's time to do turnip greens again yeah now you know how to work the cannery here in gilmer county you know i've oh, never been to been that too one. long lord no i don't <clears throat> know <laughs> uh, but they show you they got guys there that show you isn't it easier to can at the cannery why am i going to all this trouble doing it at home it's easier when yeah, you, you do it you at the cannery way more and quicker at the yeah. cannery yeah and uh what let me let me get something straight Turnip green, turnips have turnip greens. Yes. What, what grow? What comes from rutabagas? I what don't is know. That? I don't know. I, I, I play ignorance. I had never thought about that. I don't that. know. I don't know. But some of you old timers out there, Wallace, some of y'all, you let us know. <laughs> yeah. What come, what, Did what? you just call him an old timer? He's only 80. I know. He, he, he remembers <laughs> the good old days. He and I had a good talk. Good. We good. had a good talk. Good. We're going we're to look at some pictures. Did he tell you to straighten me out? Nah, but I already knew to. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> uh, we got to figure out what what grows on on rutabagas. It's because it's just the form it has of a to turnip, have a, right? Yes, it has to have a leaf, a leafy something. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah. I never thought about Look, that. Research. Love rutabagas. I guess we'll wow. be cooking some. I guess you Cute. will. All right, 55th anniversary today. Happy, happy anniversary to my beautiful, beautiful, precious sister that I love to the moon and back. And I'll tell you what better than that, she got the best husband. She chose somebody so different than our daddy. Thank you, Jesus. She got a good one. He was and is a saint. So Charles and Lila, happy, happy, happy 55th anniversary to both of you. I love them so much. Such good, good people. Happy anniversary, folks. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Now, we're going to go way back to a song that you used to sing with your mama. Yep. One of many. I sing a lot of songs. Boy, we was learning at Harmony. And I ask you, does it bother you when we bring up stuff, but it really makes you happy? Yes. Does it make you good, feel oh, good? Oh, yeah, I love yeah. those memories. Yeah, Lord, yeah. yeah. You, if, you, if I got off on, in the early days, I'd get on the wrong part, Mom would say, no, no. It, it stay, look, it, it, here's the lead, and it stays a certain distance from the lead wherever it goes. Wow, wow. How cool is that? How cool <laughs> yeah. is that? All right, this, this song, is it Blessed Assurance? Is that what it was? What was the name of that one? I think it was, I'm not too sure, but I think it was uh, ten, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Farther Along. Yes, yeah, Farther Along. Yep, yeah, here we go. So we're going to go. This, this is music. I, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but in the last few weeks, I can't get him in the studio with a guitar because he says, I have 77 hours of recorded <laughs> stuff. And he said, why do I have to carry my guitar around when you have filmed every time I hit a lick? Yeah. 
And I said, oh, okay. So Y'all know why she wants me in the studio with the guitar, don't you? Yeah. It puts me on the spot. Yeah. And she likes that. Yeah, I do. I do. You're good at being put on the spot, though. You always come off. But you know something you told Except me. Except for that Beatles song, I went, I went haywire on something. What was it? It was funny. We had, we had fun. We anyway. had fun. Yeah. <clears throat> it'd been what? I don't know how many years since I'd played it, but. Uh, well, you know what you told me. You said I am an old-time rocker, and I'm going to start doing some rock music. What if our audience was to say? But we're old-time gospel people. We'll do them, too. Okay. As long as you stick with yes. a little mix. Oh, yeah. We're okay. not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna okay. We're going to do a mix. So here yeah. we go. And this is a song that you did with your mama many, many years ago oh, and yeah. forever. Around that old rusty wood heater. There you go. Let's go to some music by Dwight. And um, when we think about this, um, Vic and and Bobby had done this probably with their family. And these are the songs that you sat around on the porch or by the fireplace with your family singing. Right? Yes, yes. Here we go. Here's a little song I've sung all my life with so many different people. Most memorable was Audrey D. Sanford. Tempted and tried We're often made wonder Why it should Good job. Good job. Thank you very much. Yes. You know, I, I know I've said it a million times to other people how much I appreciate what you bring to the show. 
because you are not only multi-talented, you are you're funny, you're informative, and you know everybody. And well, I now, love. <clears throat> I might be funny, but looks ain't everything. <laughs> <laughs> and and we do I do give you a hard time about you ain't got no hire but hire, but, hire. <laughs> but you said I remember the first day I met you and you took your hat off and I thought God he looks so young to be so bald. <laughs> well, thanks. Was that a compliment? That's a compliment. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 That's a compliment. I didn't know he'd been bald since he was eighteen. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Oh, I'm plumb used to it by now. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to all the jokes and everything. <laughs> Well, you know what? If we didn't laugh, Dwight, what would we have? I know. What would we have? Nothing. Yeah. 57 Fords. Yes, 57 Fords. That's what Fords. we'd have, yeah. And 66 Chevelles. Got some of them. And, and, and we're looking at life, and we're laughing, and we're enjoying, and that's what we are meant to do. And I, I told my friend Susan, I don't know if you even knew how you got, you got stuck with me, was Susan said, could you do this for the parade? And I said, I really don't have time. I really don't have time. But I will just tell you, I am so glad that I took the time and we hit it off because immediately when we started pulling out our phones and he had a silver 66 Chevelle, I had a silver 66 Chevelle, and then we started comparing and I said, you reckon we're brother and sisters? <laughs> because uh -huh. I said, reckon our parents ever hooked up? Nobody knew about it. <clears throat> it was weird because we had too many common denominators. Papa was a rolling stone. <laughs> and Mama was a fuck. <laughs> Mama, I did not mean that. <laughs> no, 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 I did not mean that. But, but when we look at, we have so many things that compare to each other. One of my favorite memories was leaving the city. You never lived in the city. I lived in the big cities. But one of my favorite memories was coming to the old road that leads to Mount Vernon Baptist Church in Dawson County and sitting on my Aunt Bessie's front porch with these big old bushel baskets of tomatoes that they had gathered. And I was just in awe of all the work that these people had done. Yeah. Now, generations later, her grandchildren are still producing big gardens, still canning. If I have a canning question, I pick up the phone, I call my cousin Dinah, who's Aunt Bessie's granddaughter, and I ask, but we're the generation after us. Do you know anybody younger than me that still cans? No. No, they don't. They don't. And anything you bring to me, I put it in a can because I know how to can. Yeah. But sometimes I have to pick up the phone and call Dinah and I'll say, can I cold pack this safely? And yeah, 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 you can. But that's a lost art. But you know what else is a lost art? Sitting on the porch oh, with no. folks. Yeah. Sitting on the porch. Just I have chilling. a funny I can make. Can you uh, do it? Yeah. Okay. Somebody said, how do y'all eat vegetables in the winter? And I said, because I can. <laughs> there you go. Think about that one. There you go. Work on that, folks. There you go. There you go. Because I can. And, and how many women feel so accomplished when you walk to your pantry in the dead of winter and you can pull out a jar of tomatoes and make gumbo, which is what oh, I'm going to do. Yeah. And um, and these tomatoes, you mentioned the gentleman's name who just called you and said he had an abundance of tomatoes and come and get them. So it's somebody sharing their bounty. It's somebody sharing their bounty and then somebody else saving the bounty and then somebody else cooking the bounty. <clears throat> it's like we're a village of people who can do things for each other. Absolutely. But you I know who? Buddy. <clears throat> you know who is a good porch sitter? You got a cousin named Wayne. Mm -hmm who might be addicted to my blackberry cobbler. I think he likes it. He loves it. He loves, he loves it. it. <laughs> he loves it. Well, we're going to do an open house at 30 Redbird Lane, and we're going to make peach cobbler. Because I know, without a doubt, if I were to take two quarts of your valuable blackberries and give them to strangers, uh, yeah. he'd never do the show again. Y'all would never see it again. We'd have a problem. <laughs> We'd have a problem. <laughs> Yeah, we would. So Seriously, blackberries, folks, don't come easy. You don't no. give blackberries to nobody except those that you're really fond of. Yep, 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 yep. If somebody gives you blackberries, they yeah, like you. They like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so we are going to have an open house, and I'm, it's going to be interesting to me because I've seen Wayne's face when I show up with a blackberry cobbler. If I show up with a peach and he goes... Well, it's good, but it's not nigh mm, as yeah. good as your blackberry. Mm -hmm. And and I would tend to agree with him. The peach is good, but not near as good as blackberry. But we I'm will... not a big peach fan. No, I no. like peaches, but mm -hmm. I'm not. I never was a a peach cobbler fan. I mean, so I've eat it and I do and I will. But it, you know, boy, I'd rather have blackberry. blackberry. Yeah. yeah. But as valuable as those blackberries are, we ain't wasting them. We ain't wasting them. 
Now, when you spend time with little Margie and y'all go riding the roads or sitting on the porch or chilling or doing whatever, do you take in everything that she tells you about the past? Well, yes, I do, but uh, she, she don't remember a whole lot, and we don't sit on the porch. I sit on the porch, and she stands in front of me and talks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> love you, Margie. <laughs> Love her, love her, love her, love her. <laughs> and, and There's a great view up at her house. Oh, yeah, and I've seen it. And you can see for glory, it's forever. I've but seen But I don't it. get to see any of it. When I go sit on the porch, she stands right in front of me and talks. <laughs> and don't you love every minute <laughs> yes, of it? Yes, I do. Wouldn't take nothing for it. <laughs> oh, my gosh, what a blessing. What a blessing. Yeah. Now, y'all go out to eat a lot. And yeah, and I have to buy. <laughs> I know, it's pitiful. <laughs> yeah. Spittable. But when she cooks, it's all worth it. That's right. That's right. Okay, soup beans, one of your favorite meals. Simple. Love you, soup beans, I would yeah. describe you as a very simple man. You know, there's something we haven't talked about. What? Have we talked about poke salad? Oh, yeah. We have? I don't mm -hmm. think so. Oh, have, yeah. With yeah. eggs, with scrambled eggs? Yeah. We have not talked about poke okay, salad. Okay, go you ahead. Check your files. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people, this grosses, but a lot of you, I know a bunch of you out there hate poke salad. I love poke salad. Yeah. Let me tell you, as someone would say, I love poke salad. You put eggs in it, and if you ever get it down right, how to cook it, it's some good stuff. Mm -hmm. What's a good meal? Cornbread, poke salad, and pear relish. There you go. There you go. Yes. And you know somebody who makes pear relish. I know somebody who'd made pear relish. <coughs> Got some of it in my refrigerator. <laughs> you do. Yeah. And aunt. And Aunt Margie can cook the poke salad? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, she can. Do you pick it and does she freeze it? How do y'all do that? Well, I pick it every summer, except this summer. I had I had a lot in the freezer already, so I thought, well, we're going to skip the summer. But what I always do is I pick poke salad. You want to get it when it's real, real young and tender, just about that high. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I freeze a bunch of it. I got the freezer full right now. I eat poke salad in the winter. You know how, you know how I can do that? Mm-mm. Not because I can, because I freeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, and what did I tell you about freezing blackberries? You said it wasn't a good idea. It ain't a good idea. Yeah. They taste like freezer burn. When you, I don't care how good your freezer is or however, the best way to preserve blackberries is to can those suckers. Yeah. And, and you did. I did. I did. Yeah. Or you, you still got more to go, though, right? Six more. Six more containers. Well, yeah. I got I got more at my house too that I picked. Good after Lord, you. have mercy. I know. <laughs> we I gotta know. get more jars, but yeah. I've, I've learned my lesson. Last night I'm listening to the tings on my jars. They didn't all ting, but I woke up this morning they'd all tinged, so they're a little bit slow. When you're canning, buy the good supplies. Make sure you have your jars clean. Make sure you have your lids hot. Do it right and you don't lose your bounty. I have two jars of tomatoes that I'm gonna make gumbo out of this weekend, so it'll be gumbo time, because two jars didn't seal. And that drives me crazy, because if you're taking your time to do all this, t canned tomatoes are better than frozen tomatoes. They just pick up the taste of the freezer. So I'm not a big freezing queen. All these people that have these big old freezers full of food, I'd whole lot rather have a pantry full of canned stuff. Yeah, me stuff. too. Yep. I think my poke salad's okay, froze. Is, is, is it better than uh, uh I've never canned poke salad, so I don't have a People clue. do. I don't, I, wouldn't, yeah. I don't know. I just freeze mine. It's, uh, I make sure I get all the air out of the thing and, and freeze it. So it's, And Dawn does that. She gets the air out. She put up 400 ears of corn yesterday, y'all. I told y'all a lie. I thought it was 300. She said, Mom, it was 454 ears of corn. Whew. You know why? Ask me why. Why is that? Lonnie Fountain eats corn and kraut every day. My daughter, <laughs> the girl who could have been a model in New York City, puts up corn and makes kraut so her precious little husband. Can we give a shout out to Lonnie Fountain? Do Lonnie we love Fountain's him? Lonnie Fountain's a good man. Heck yeah, I he love is Lonnie. A, he's, he's a good guy and she makes homemade kraut. I don't like homemade kraut, but Lonnie Fountain eats it every meal. As the old people used to say, I'm again it. Yeah. I just, I don't like homemade kraut. I got sick on kraut when I was a little boy, and it won't be no more. That was it. We that can't was be it. eating yeah. kraut, yeah. folks. Yeah. I can't yeah. take it. Yeah, well, when we think about what you, I mean, 454 ears of corn, that's, a, I don't know if you know it, that's a lot of corn. We went to a restaurant, and Margie said, I think I'll get kraut and weenies. I said, there's some tables outside. <laughs> you did not. I did. <laughs> you did not. 
<laughs> she knew I didn't mean it. <laughs> but I don't like crowd. <laughs> like sad. you, Lonnie. I love you, Lonnie. But we don't. I don't be doing crowds. Uh -uh. And and he's probably the healthiest person I ever saw in my life because he does eat those antioxidants every day. But when Dawn does her corn, she scrapes the corn real good, and she does like you said, freezes it and gets the air out yeah. of the bag. So, and it stays really, really good. But get out and get some bounty. And if you don't want to garden, do you know you can go to the farmer's market in Atlanta? And it's a fun trip if you want to drive straight down 75 through all that traffic and all them craziness. Or you can pick up a market bulletin and you can see who in your local area. Do you get a market bulletin? Mm -mm. Well, you can see anybody who has extra stuff puts it in the market bulletin and shares it. And that's how I found a lot of, a lot yeah. of stuff that I canned. I got a memory I'll share now. You said to share memories. Yes, sir. Just a little short, little short memory. It's just so crazy. Many years ago, I think it was about 1971, me and Tony Gaddis were buddies. We'd walk around town together all the time. And I remember- That's your we, camera. Remember they camera moved us. Sorry, yes, they yeah. moved us. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, we were walking around town one evening and I remember we were going across out there where Cox Creek comes under North Main Street. The red dot used to be right there. And we were going across there and Tony said, there's a new song you gotta hear. And I go, well, what's that? He said, Sweet Mary by Wadsworth Mansion. Sweet Mary, I'm coming home. You remember it? No. Here we go again. Well, you didn't even know Mr. LJ. <laughs> no. But, yeah. Womp, by oh, body, womp, womp, womp. You, you don't. Okay, no. all right. Well, anyway, it was a big song, and old Tony shared that what with me. What year was that? And we ran down to the house and listened 71. Okay. Ran down to the house and listened, loved that song ever since. In 71, that I had... That was lame. <laughs> no, in 71, I had just moved to Jasper and had left the city. So when you do all this music that I don't get, it's because I was a single mom working three jobs trying yeah. to put food on the table. And you don't remember Sweet Mary. <laughs> No. Okay, got a letter from Mary today. She said to hurry home, I need you right away. You don't remember it? No. Okay, you was under that same rock you were under when Mr. LJ came to be, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, okay, now you've promised that you're gonna do some gospel and some rock and roll in the future. You're gonna go back to, <clears throat> and on the way up here this morning, I was thinking about a song. It would be hard for you to be Percy Sledge, because you don't look like him. But could you, could you sing a Percy Sledge song? Have you ever sang a Percy Sledge song? I have not. Uh, like, like Percy Sledge. Uh, Love his music. Probably could look into it. I think it would be cool, because I was yeah. thinking about, do you know the story about he wrote Take Time to Know Her, true story, a guy came in and this had happened to him, and da 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 da, -da and he broke into the session, and then Percy quickly recorded that song, like 20 minutes. Huh. I didn't know that story, no. And, and it's, it's a cool song, and it kind of sounds like you. So if you're going to do rock and roll, can I throw in some requests on rock and roll and kind of get you out sure, of your comfort zone? Sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you're real good at doing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. I want to do Pieces of April by Three Dog Night, and I want to do uh, some stuff like that. Just those good little acoustic songs. We'll do it. We'll do it. Will you bring your guitar back next time? Yeah, as long as we pre-record it. Okay, yeah. okay. We can do that. Yeah, we can we do that. that. No we have problem. two iPads going all the time, so we can do that. You know, it's it's really cool to me that we have your talent available, and all I have to do is ding dong, ding dong, can you be here, can you be here? Throwback Thursdays, you called it the wood chopping, coffee grinding. Stove wood chopping, coffee grinding sessions. And That's what it is. It's about your life. Does that Louisiana can back there mean anything to sure you? Sure does. You used to see them sitting around. Yeah. Them yeah. in lard buckets. Yeah, yep. yeah. And yep. and I told you one of my favorite memories you shared was when your daddy went down to the spring and got milk for you to drink. Yep. Does we that... went to Howard's, my uncle Howard's, in the old John Quarles place down in behind. Uh, it's on uh, it's on Banks Road. And uh, we went there many years ago. We drove there in a 57 Chevy station wagon that my daddy had, never will forget. And uh, I'd start whining. I did it on purpose. I was a little bitty guy. And daddy and Howard would walk way down in the holler and get some milk out of the spring. And I'd shut up when I got that milk. Does it mean they didn't have refrigeration? They didn't have power, no. No, no. power? A bunch of us didn't, no. Wow. 
That's yeah. crazy. They're, they're, the spring down there was the refrigerator. You kept milk in the spring, and you, uh, you know, you, 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 uh, it kept it cool. Yeah. And they, they'd take the flashlight and walk down there to the spring. It was a long way too, and get me some milk and come back up there so that I might be quiet for a little while. <laughs> Okay, you don't eat meat, you love vegetables, you'll eat a little bit of chicken, but yeah. you're, you're not a hog fan. No, I don't eat much hogs. Mm -mm. I really don't. Why is that? I Country just, boys uh, love yeah. hogs. Well, I grew up, you know, again, don't feel sorry for me, because you didn't have fresh tenderloin and homemade biscuits on the wood stove every yeah, morning like yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but did you get away from meat because the doctor told you to, or what happened? Why is Pretty that? much in one way, yeah, but if you'll really think about it, just a little while prior to your eating this meat, there was blood flowing through it. <laughs> For everybody who's enjoying lunch today, <laughs> we apologize. You know, a little while ago, there was <laughs> blood flowing through that meat, so I guess I didn't have to say that, but <laughs> okay. that's the main, re main reason why I don't eat a lot of meat. Okay. I, I do, I eat a little chicken, yeah. You don't deer hunt. No, never been. No, the first deer I ever shot was with Kodachrome 64. Yeah, you don't fish. No, never been fishing. Never been fishing. Never been fishing. You don't drink coffee. Nope, don't know what it tastes like. You don't drink drinks. Nope. Don't sugar yourself up. Nope. And you walk four miles a day. I do that. And you work three jobs, and you're always into something productive. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with you? Messed up, ain't I? <laughs> yeah. Really bad. That's just... <laughs> You know, it's in this world, the beauty of it all is we all can do what we want to do. We can. Yep. Well, and we've that's got, what we do. We've got two minutes, and I've got to read because I promised I was going to read one page a day out of Mike Smith's book. So here we go. <clears throat> My father was very good working on car and truck engines. He learned a lot of his skills while in the U.S. Army. He was overseas for three years during World War II, stationed in Burma. He always loved to help us. He would fix our cars when they broke down, but in the later years, his health began to fail him. He suffered from lung cancer, and the last two years on this earth, he was unable to work on our cars like before. When my car needed work, he would refer me to the, some of his customers that he called in on automotive supply business. They operated automotive repair shops all over Marietta. When I told them who I was, that I was Smitty's son, they treated me special. I didn't do anything to receive that special treatment. They loved me because they loved my father. I was special because of who I belonged to. I was Smitty's son, and that made me special. How much more special is the love of our Heavenly Father? He thought we were so special that he sent his only begotten son to sacrifice to die in our place. He thinks we are special, that he is preparing a place for us one day to live with him. When we trust in Christ and surrender our lives to Him, He comes within us to prepare us that place, a special place for special people, and it all happened because God so loved the world. And I look at you as a blessing from God to me because you brought laughter back into my life, you brought craziness into my life, and you brought some sweet memories. Is that memories. another compliment? Yes, and you brought okay. some sweet memories of your precious family. So thank you for sharing all of this with our viewers, yeah, and boy. thank you for being wide open to letting me do whatever I want to and video it. I have so many videos of him, y'all. One day you're going to get to see the bloopers. So thank you. I'm sure you will. Yes, you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you so it's much. It's a lot of fun. It is fun. Yeah. We have fun. And we get things done. And we get things done. Yeah. And it's time for us to get something done. It's time for y'all to get out of here. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. Get out on the dirt roads and do something fun and uh, just just don't even look back. You know, tell me about Jim, 1950, GMC. Jim, I named him Jim. He was owned by Jim DeBoard right here in this little town. And uh, he's a 1950 GMC all original. 46,000 original miles and we're going to hit the dirt roads. Yep. There you go. We'll see you again soon, y'all, only on ETC. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jack.